Stellas, welcome back to the Polish Stellar Podcast. And on today's show, we're going to be talking about image consulting and why. So listen up. Image consulting and why? Why image consultant? Why would you call yourself an image consultant? What are your skills? What do you do? How do you help people? Those are the questions I get on random basis. And like on almost every time I have to introduce myself as an image consultant and people tend to like want to know why are you doing image consulting? Why not something else? Why not fashion consulting? Why not this? Why not that? Why do you have to pick the field? image consultant and i guess because they don't understand the reason why it is called image consultant they tend to forget or they tend to not get a group hold of why it is called image consultant and the polish teller is existing because i want to see people look better i want to see people have like a healthy lifestyle i want to see people be their best self i want to see them dress better i want to see them ace their personal and professional life and that's why we created the prep polish teller and it's a dream of mine like i've had this dream for like forever and i decided to like okay let's launch it out so today i'm going to be explaining image consulting why i'm an image consultant who needs it everything you need to know just basically everything you need to know so we'll start by defining what image consulting is so it's a professional field that aims at improving the image of a client personally or professionally through appearance behavior and communication all of these three phases they all come together to help the client become a better person you know to have a healthy lifestyle to have like a signature style that everybody wants to buy into you see the celebrities they have something about them something about them that makes them celebrities that people want to always check up on them because they have this all put together look all put together image that people want to buy into people want to even be like them get so the reason why we have image consultant or even fashion consultant or personal consultant personal style consultant as we are all called a diverse name you can call it but image consultant is like an all encompassing word for what we really do as a personal stylist or as a fashion consultant or as a wardrobe consultant all of these are to help our clients and uh or the individual have a better um, appearance have a better body language or behavior and a better communication that's why we exist okay it's a process of evaluating the effect of a personal appearance on their professional image a person's appearance on their professional image is important so as um let's take for instance a doctor if you you're not presented well, you will know that the, the certain things that you need to do to get started, to get into the nuances, all of those stuff, you need to have like a put together look that enables you to do it well, that enables you to do it well. So it's that put together look and that um, personal style, that flair that you bring to the table, that is what everybody wants to see. And that's why we exist. That's why we exist to have and make sure you put together an amazing image of yourself that is both going to help you personally and professionally okay so our main focus as image consultant is to help the client dress better have a good personal style we help them buy their clothes body language training branding and also etiquette so remember that i said image consulting um is to help the clients for their personal and professional needs through what appearance and under appearance we help you in your clothing the choice of clothes to fit the choice of profession that you're going into we also have grooming having proper grooming skill or proper grooming etiquette is going to help you a whole lot the way your skin looks the kind of makeup you put on the kind of the way you smell all of those things are very important to have a very good and appreciated image of yourself. So we talked about health and nutrition. Health and nutrition is also part of appearance because if you don't have a good physique, if you don't have a good physique and you don't have proper nutrition that makes it worth it, makes it worth it. Your nutrition should be on point. Your choice of food should be on point because some of choice of food also reflect on your skin. So you have to make sure that your nutrition are on point and also health. You have to be healthy 
healthy, you have to exercise better, you have to have like a persona, um, build a persona or have a particular physique, a good physique of yourself. And that's why we are existing. And also for the ladies, we talk about makeup, choice of makeup that you use on yourself, very important. And also your choice of accessories. We're going to determine what kind of personal signature style you want to have. Do you want to be a funk dresser? Do you want to be a classic dresser? Do you want to be bohemian? Whatever style you decide to go for, it's important that you have like the know-how, know what fits you. And that's why you're here. <laughs> so when we talk about behavior, we talk about how to carry yourself, like self-confidence, how to have emotional intelligence to handle people, what to say, what not to say, how to have good interpersonal skills. All of these are behavior of a polished teller and it is important that you have your behaviors up to points like it's always in check why you're conversing with people what kind of skill what kind of skill set do you have in conversing with people how accommodating are you how are you presenting yourself to the public when it comes to behavior it's important and then we talk about etiquette and civility that is going to be on the behavior because if you don't have proper etiquette many people have lost jobs because they don't have proper eating etiquette proper dining etiquette they don't know what spoon to use at what time what fork to use how the americans eat how the british eat how the universally accepted international way of eating what are the business etiquette the proper etiquette for workplace the proper etiquette for home the proper etiquette for dating all of this topic is what we're going to be covering in the polish teller because the goal of the polish teller is to make sure you are polished you're refined to the core appreciating your uniqueness every now and then because you have a fine-tuned way of doing it. You have a fine-tuned way of living. You have a fine-tuned way of existing. And that is why we are existing for you. We listen. We listen. We listen. We want to make sure you are the best you can be. You are the best at everything personally and professionally. And then we talk about the body language. Your body language for everything. The way you, the body language you express is what is going to show what you're thinking or um, how confident you are. So all of the body language you're going to be discussing it because Polish teller, you have to have your body language in check. You have to make sure that your body language is on point so you don't miss out on anything good. So there's um, a kind of body language that you use and it looks as if you are you are afraid or there's a way, a form of way you shake your hands and people are like, no, this person is not confident. So all of these small, small details determine how your personal and professional image are going to marry together. Then we come to the communication and then there's a skill for communication. All of this stuff, you have to have like a proper communication skill. You have to know how to converse with people. You don't just go into a room and just sit down because you don't know what to say. You have to know what to say. As Polish tellers, we are Polish to the core. We know what to say. We know what to do at the right time. We are not um, afraid. We are always on point because, I mean, we don't go into the room and, <laughs> and sound as say nothing. Like we don't know how know what next to do. We always know what next to do. And that's the important thing about being a stellar. You have the room and you own it. You own it from A to Z. You own it. Nobody's going to sit talk you or nobody's going to try to bamboozle you because you have what to say. You know how to carry yourself properly. So you have to have good communication skills. And also, you have to have proper voice culture. It's a culture. That is why it is called voice culture. There's a particular way you're supposed to speak. There's a particular way you're supposed to um, um, there's a particular sound your voice makes and it defines meaning. If I say something like are you okay? You sound a shock. And when I say, are you okay? You're just asking because you want, you care to know. So the, the proper way of you saying things and it means different things in um, the listener's ear. So having good voice culture and knowing how to navigate your voice culture is what you're going to be treating in the Polish teller. And that is why we exist as image consultants. So you have to have like a good presentation skill. How do you present what it is you want to present? Like you have an interview. How do you present? yourself what is the best way to present yourself in a job interview also in personal life in professional life or you have like a meeting you have to present to an investor how do you present yourself okay what are the best way to do your presentation and ace it at every point in time you are you need to know all of this as polished people because we are polished we have poised we are poised people we are polished we are unique we are beautiful so that's why having all of this and check and point is important.
And you also know how to speak publicly, how to address people. For those of you who want to be speakers or for those of you who are managers and HR, you want to know how to address people properly. That is important because if you don't know how to speak well, you're going to lose out on so many things. I mean, we make, we all make mistakes and it's good that we know that we make mistakes and know how to correct it. That is important as growing up people. But if you don't have good public speaking skill, it is an act that you can learn. So as Paula Stella, we, we need to know how to speak publicly. We need to know how to carry ourselves publicly. So we need to know all of that. It's a sweet way of doing things because we have good parts and we know how to carry ourselves publicly so we know how to speak well. And all of the training, uh, all of that, we're going to talk about it. That's why we, we mean the whole episode series that we're going to be bringing out is to make sure that you know what you're doing as Stella. So if you're tuning in I like every day or like every two days you're gonna get juicy stuff from everyday life and how it's gonna help you grow as a person and the last on the list of communication is listen I have issues when people don't know how to listen. I mean, you don't have to talk every time. You just have to know what to say at the right time. So, but if you don't know how to listen properly, you miss out on details and they are not beneficial. You need to know how to listen. You need to know how to pay attention. You don't just have to talk always because Polish people, they don't have to talk like always. They listen because they don't want to miss out on details. And when you listen properly to your host or to the person that you're having a conversation with, they appreciate and honor you better because you're allowing them to be there yourself, allowing them to fly. So having a good listening skill is important as a stellar and as a polished one as that. That is what the three focus of um, the image consulting include. This is the focus of what we all include. So we talk about appearances, we talk about behavior, we talk about the communication side of image consulting. So now people ask me this question, who needs your service? I mean, if you ask me, I'll say everybody, but we are narrowing it down because not just everybody can afford it, but then who needs it? For those of you that after listening to this podcast and you want to go into image consulting, it's important that you know who your audience are, who your market is, who the people you're going to serve. And you, if you want to pick them initially or you want to um, broaden your horizon or whatever it is that you decide to do at the ending, it's all up to to you. So we are talking about the clients, your clients right now. So who needs it? They are professionals from different domains, like from all walks of life. All the professionals from all walks of life, they need your service because they have to look good, because they have to have their communication skill on point, because they have to have your their behaviors on point. So they need you they need you like they need you and then another person <laughs> people in the public eye like the politicians um the journalists those top influencers do anybody in the public eye they need your service because they have to be proper because they have to know what they're doing because they don't have to like flop in their personal and professional image because they have to keep a persona and they have to protect an integrity so they don't just go about doing everything they feel like doing because they want to do it right now anybody in the public eye is what people are looking up to who people are looking up to and they want to make sure that they have the best of them always in front of everybody service industry like the restaurant and in the restaurant where you would serve 
people food. So having the best etiquette or having the best image of the restaurant, that's what gets people to five, seven star rating. So service industry like the hotel, the hospitality, the medical, they need image consultant to make sure that they are on point at every time of the day. The HR people, they need image consultant. <laughs> like they are managing people. So they have to be on point to be able to manage people. They have to have the etiquette they want to imbibe in people. They have to have the communication skill they want to imbibe in people. So the HR managers, they need you. And also recruiting firms and training companies. Recruiting firms and training companies need you because this is going to be like a baseline on what um, is going to be what you're looking for into the um, people they're employing or the people they're going to train. If they are training um, them to become, to go into the job market or to go into any work of life, they need to have like an image consultant to also assist them in doing their job properly. So you can't shy away from what it is. So recruiting firm needs them because when they have to recruit you into a particular industry, you have to have like the whole etiquette. You have to have like the whole image to fit into that industry you are going to. So recruiting firm and training companies need an image consultant. Then we have consultancy firms or the consultancy firm. Like uh, we, I am into image consultants. So I'm part of the consultant side of it. So we consult for people. We consult for people. So business consultants and life coach, um, a finance consultant, whatever consultancy firm, you need to have like a persona or a particular image that people would want to buy into before they say they want to give you their money. So um, consultancy firms also need it. Then we have corporate personnel at different stage in their career. So as you climb the ladder of your career, you need an image consultant to tell you, okay, these are the things that you, ha- you had when you are entering into the company and these are the things you need to drop out. These are the things that you will need for your new phase in life. These are the things you're going to need to do this, need to do that. So at every stage in time, you need an image consultant. High net worth individuals, like the Crazy Rich Asians. I love that movie because it is youth class, it is youth sophistication. All of those stuff, high net worth individuals, they need to you know, present yourself in the best way possible because they are, of course, high net worth. They need to protect their image. They need to protect their assets and they don't need to appear shabbishly or not put together in front of people because they are what? High net worth individuals. Socialites. Socialites, the public figures, they're still socialites. Like people, the society look up to. Influencers, celebrities and all of that. So you celebrities and their partners, um, housewives that want to, you know, start their own online business but they want to see the best way that can they can work from home and still have this class and sophistication it's important they have like a, the way the best way to present a food the best way to host a dinner party the best way to do so many things a housewife this is where they come in and corporations looking to create corporate identities and work culture so if you want to um change the change the way your company is you want to change some certain things you need to bring in an image consultant to help imbibe all those cultures into your staffs and furthering, improving the way work flows in your organization. So those are the people that need image consulting. And why did I go into this profession? Honestly, I wanted more in life. I wanted, like I said earlier, I wanted people to look good. I am crazy about smell. I'm crazy about the way people communicate. I'm crazy about the way they present themselves better. I'm crazy about the way they dress. I'm crazy about so many things. And people say I'm superficial because, and this is the first thing I look at you and when you come in, I look at your hair, I look at your makeup, and then it helps me define if you're a lady. It helps me define what category of person you are. And I look at your shoe, your dress, uh, your choice of nails or um, for men, your choice of belt, your choice of fashion. If that is a funk dresser, your jean kind of person. Whatever it is that you do, this is the first thing I look out to. And so some of my friends, we are always complaining that, oh, Rachel, I don't let nothing pass. Like if I see your button ripped out, I'm definitely going to say something about it. If I... If like you don't, um, your smell is not up to point and you're very close to me, I'm definitely going to say something about that. It is important for me. I, I like it that you are put together, put together to appreciate the essence. And that's why I'm so crazy about the French people because they are always put together. They have a particular way of eating. They stick to it. Business wise, they do things 
put together early and it's something that we are self-employed people we need to learn but you know especially in africa in nigeria per se we have gotten used or gotten comfortable with the idea that we just have to do whatever it is it takes like who cares but people care first impression matters and whatever impression you present of yourself at first that's what is going to be in like people's mind forever so if you don't give the best impression of yourself you're gonna miss out on so many things like so so many things and i don't want you to miss out on those things i really want you to be the best version of yourself to be the best at whatever you do to be the best at presenting yourself at holding up you know holding your poise and a well-mannered well-cultured person because that is what stellars are they are polished they are well-mannered they have class they have a circle they have the way they communicate they have a proper voice culture they have the courage people like so whatever field of industry that you are you need an image from Zolven. and i don't want you to break the bank and that's why we created this podcast because you must not break the bank to be a polished person i mean i started learning how to be polished not because um i had the whole money to do it but no i wanted to have like a well-mannered, a well-cultured way of doing things. I, I wanted to choose my influence. I wanted to choose what I do and what I don't do. And it is important for me because um, in the long run of it, um, when you start becoming more popular or when you start having more followings, people tend to want to you know, see these things and see all of the nasty things you had to do like way before and how you are not proper, uh, properly dressed. So I have like my friends, when they see a celebrity that don't dress well, they always complain about that because they expect more from you as a celebrity, but not just as a celebrity. Even as a common man, you are expected to be a certain way. You're expected to do certain things. You're expected to carry yourself in a proper and certain way. So you don't have to give yourself excuse to say, okay, because I don't have a certain use what you have smell good i mean you don't have to break the bank to smell good if you're in nigeria or wherever you are they have two dollar perfumes they have three dollars they have two thousand so you just need to smell well right all of these tiny details are what the polish stellar is here to teach you and why we exist and why it is important to be a stellar because you have to own the floor at every time you have to turn heads be a man be a lady you have to turn heads at every given time because I mean, you have your attitude, everything put together, you know how to eat well, your table manners, you have proper manners set in place. And it's going to make people are going to want to, you know, come into your circle because you have everything in point. You are going to go to interviews and you're going to exit because you have proper courage, proper presentation skills. You have, you know what you do, you know your onion so well. It is important because as Stella, we need to know our onion well and we need to put our best foot forward always. It's beautiful. I mean, (laughs) life is beautiful. And we keep doing what makes us beautiful because the the soul truth is you're beautiful inside out. Whether you know it or not, you're beautiful. So I'm excited that the Polish Stella exists. to the Polish Teller Podcast today with Rachel Michael. Be sure to follow me on all social media at It's Rachel Michael and the podcast at the Polish Teller. Rate, subscribe, and review this podcast. And do not forget, you are unique and beautiful. Have a wonderful day till I see you in the next one.